Right, so today we're talking about a situation that has blew up on TikTok over the last few days, where a TikToker gifted a stranger a house for free, and then the person who got gifted the house tried making the other person look bad in a TikTok video. Yeah, it's a strange one. And also, before we get any further, quick disclaimer, I'm not feeling very well today. I'm kind of full of cold, so I might not be at, like, 100%, so just bear with me, please. <laughs> but enough of that, let's actually add some context to this situation. So the TikToker you need to be aware of here is a TikToker called Trade Me Project with 4.6 million followers. As we see by a bio, she's called Demi, and she has like this series that she does on her channel where she trades from like a paper clip or like a, a bobby pin, is that what they're called? The thing for your hair, right? A pin for your hair, and she trades from that up until a house. Now to show you the type of stuff she does, here's a video from 2022 where she had finally completed this series. For the last year, I've been on a quest to trade a single bobby pin up until I get to a house. Now that I've done it, everyone's been asking, what am I gonna do next? The easy answer would have been keep it for myself, but instead I've decided I wanna change someone else's life, just like Trade Me Project has changed mine. So today I'm announcing that I'm officially trading this house for a bobby pin, meaning that somebody is gonna get this fully renovated house just for trading me a bobby pin. Then I'll start the entire Trade Me Project journey over again. I wanna hear your stories and have you nominate people who you think need this house most. I mean, what a lovely thing to do, right? So the fact that this story kind of got twisted only for a short period of time before like receipts were revealed if you want to call it that but there was a short period of time where it almost looked like this person was the villain after they give someone a house but yeah two months after the video we just watched was uploaded she then posted a new video where she revealed who she was giving the house to hi oh we're here hi we came all the way here because i felt like i wanted to see what person and I'm here to tell you that the house is yours. There is no way. Yes. I mean, look, right, it's a really feel-good video, isn't it? Like, it's a really nice thing to do. Now, this story ended up going huge. As we can see here, she was on the Ellen Show talking about this back in 2022. And yeah, at the end of the day, she literally gives someone a house for free. Or at least she traded it for a bobby pin. And she made this cool series about it where she traded it up to the house, give it away. Again, very nice thing to do, which is even more mental when we find out what happened after this. Because just a few days ago, Shay, the person who was gifted the house, ended up posting this video that has now been deleted. I do have the archive of it though, where she claims that she has been banned from the property. Right, so here's the video. It says, when I literally won a house from a TikToker, but then was later banned from the property. Shows that she was given the house. Welcome home, Shay. And there really isn't any other context of the situation other than she was banned. So as you can imagine, when people saw this video, they were jumping to conclusions and they're like, wait, why the fuck is she being banned here? Is this giveaway fake? Did she just surprise him? Was like, oh, I'll give you the house, then later regretted it and was like, actually, no, I'll take it back off you. And then suddenly Demi, who did this really nice thing for somebody, was getting a fuck ton of hate. I mean, if we just look at the caption that was on this video, it says, I want my home back and my stuff. And it had 126,000 likes, meaning it probably had like, over a million views, if I had a guess. Maybe a bit more. Obviously, I can't see the views because it's an archive. But yeah, just judging from the caption, it seems like she was just shot out of the house and they just took the house back off her and took all of her stuff. And that's exactly what brings us up to three days ago, where Demi felt like she had to post a video clearing things up. And it's definitely not what you would expect just judging from Shay's video. Hi, guys. In the last 24 hours, you might have seen this video. In order to protect Shay, I had decided not to post anything about this entire situation, but now it's time to come with the receipts. It's gonna be a long one, so here we go. Yeah, and by the way, a lot of receipts she shows. Like, there is so much proof in this video. Shay moved into the house. She brought her boyfriend, her boyfriend's mom, and all of her animals. Everything seemed great. She sent me a video. It looked perfect. We had an Amazon wish list put up, and you guys were sending tons of packages to her. But on July 31st, 2022, so a little bit more than a month later, I got this strange message from somebody that lived next door saying that there were tons of packages outside in the rain. When I messaged Shay about it that same day, she said, quote, I'm trying to find a flight back to Clarksville. You can pause to read that. So I immediately posted to Instagram, trying to find somebody who would take all the packages and put them in the shed in the back just to keep them safe until she got back. Okay, so this becomes a big thing in the video where Shay just isn't in the home and she's not looking after the home. And when Shay said in the previous video, I just want my home back and my stuff, 
it seems like the stuff that she's on about is stuff that was just sent to her from Demi's viewers because she made like an Amazon wish list and people send stuff to Shay's house. And judging from the story, it seems like Shay never even opened the parcels and in fact just kept them outside. And we will let her see what happens to the parcels eventually, but it seems like from what I can tell, that is the stuff she's on about, not actually her stuff. From July 31st, I continue to message Shay that we had her packages and that we were looking for her to return to Clarksville to get them. And I'll look at the dates. Um, from then, August 9th, August 12th, August 13th, August 15th, August 16th, August 18th, August 19th, August 24th, August 27th, and into September, I messaged her about coming to get the packages or returning to Clarksville, and you can pause to read all of those conversations. Okay, so it's now been over two months at this point, and she still hasn't went back to the house to get these parcels. I mean, let's just take a quick look at these messages, and one thing I noticed from these messages is that Demi is unbelievably nice throughout this whole situation that does progressively get worse the more we go on. But as we can see here, Shay's saying, well, I'm trying to get back to Clarksville right now, actually, ha ha ha, but I can't find a flight. She then later said, hi, sorry, I didn't answer. I only have Wi-Fi sometimes, but tomorrow should be good. Just let me know what time. And then obviously some days go by, Demi's still trying to message her, saying, oh, can you take pictures off the rugs of the house because the rug company wants to use some. And then Shay's replied saying, hi, sorry for the late reply. I won't be home late tonight. I will send pictures of the rugs tonight and stuff. I'm guessing she didn't send pictures of the rugs because when we see the condition of the house later on in the video, there's probably a good reason why she wouldn't want to take pictures of it. And yeah, in the next lot of messages, it seems like maybe Demi was just getting left on red constantly. That's what I'm taking from this anyway. She sent multiple messages and not received a reply. On September 27th, it had been almost two months of storing Shay's packages with no sense that she would return. So we decided, Natasha and I, to donate all of the packages to Goodwill. Seems like a really reasonable thing to me. It's not like they went in Shay's house and stole her fucking belongings and then decided to like donate them. These are parcels that were sent from people who saw the videos that just thought, look, I'm gonna do something nice and help her out, send her some parcels that might help with the home. And clearly it seems like Shay didn't want them parcels or she didn't care too much about them because they were just being left out in the rain. So they decided to donate the stuff instead. Again, seems like a really reasonable thing to me. She told me she was a bit overwhelmed, which I completely understood by the situation and that she had gone back to Pennsylvania. Totally fine. So I replied, oh my gosh, I totally get it. That seems so reasonable. Either way, I'm so proud of you and you'll figure it out. In the meantime, I don't mean, I don't, mind managing everything that comes up. I'll have the grass cut for the next year. I just want to make sure you're okay. And that if you need anything, you can get it. You can pause to read that entire conversation as well. So yeah, again, Demi's being very understanding because as we can see by these messages here, she is basically saying, I definitely plan on moving in, but it's just a bit much because like moving states and whatnot. This is obviously four months after she got the house, but she said it was like a little scary and she needed some more time. And as we just heard from Demi, she's saying, look, it's fine, completely reasonable. I'll keep the garden in like good condition. I'm assuming Demi didn't have keys to the house at this point, or maybe she did because she'd later got in the house, but she obviously hadn't got in the house at this point, but she was willing to keep the garden in check, right? Cut the lawn and whatever else. So August 13th, 2023, I actually went down to Clarksville to see what was happening with this house. She hadn't been there in 14 months. Okay, before we see the state of this house, bear in mind, as you just said right here, this is 14 months later. So again, when we hear the outcome of this, which I guess we've already heard, right? She's no longer allowed to go in the house and I guess they're giving it to someone else instead. This is 14 months later at this point. So it's not like Shay got surprised on video and Demi used it to her advantage, you know, and got all the views for it. And then it suddenly was like, oh, you know what? I'll keep the house. In fact, you know, your stuff inside it, I'll take that too. Because that is what the original video would suggest. I know she doesn't really say much in it, but that's the problem here. She hasn't added any context to the situation. So obviously people are gonna think of the worst. But yeah, let's actually take a look at the condition of this house. We got to the house and the house was completely ruined everything inside but essentially there was pee on the ground all of the garbage that had been used in the month that she was there uh, was jammed into closets so you can imagine what it looks like after 14 months i've never seen anything like this i cried in the front yard of the house um just can't imagine that somebody would do this and after 14 months of me talking with her this entire time and her saying she was moving back she was moving back we're just waiting we just needed more time and i honestly believed that i mean come on look at the state of all of this and here's the thing right as much as you shouldn't assume it's hard not to assume from this that she is obviously struggling with stuff, right? I feel like most people who live like this are. But she has been given this house for free. She's completely trashed it. And then she's went to TikTok to try and make Demi look like the villain here, who throughout all of this has been incredibly nice, incredibly helpful. And at the end of the day, 
give her a house for free. But I mean, it's not even just like slightly messy. Like this is destroyed. And this is stuff that was given to her. I mean, yeah, when we got to look at the, the fridge, I don't even know what's going on here. There's just shit like spill everywhere inside. Yeah, and I was gonna say Demi's obviously emotional about it. I'm like actually so sad for her. Like so sad for the house and the journey and like, oh, I just like don't know who to be sadder for. This is so fucking stupid. That same day I then messaged Shay and told her I was devastated that she had ruined the house. Okay, right, let's have a look at these messages here. Hi, I stopped by the house today and was really, really shocked by the condition. That was at 3.46 and then about an hour later, she replied saying, I'm not sure if you're going to reply, but I'm pretty devastated. If I don't hear from you, I'm going to assume that due to the property damage, health, safety violations in the house, you understand that you will no longer have access to the property or anything in it. And the house will remain in my name as my property. Now, of course, remember from earlier in the story, nothing had been moved over to Shay's name, which I guess is a good thing in the end. But Demi was trying to get it moved over to Shay's name and Shay was just not really communicating back and obviously she was not coming to the property and whatnot. So Demi still had it in her name at this point. Okay, we got more here saying, I just don't know how you left it like this after all this. And Shay replied saying, that's understandable. I appreciate everything you did. So yeah, I mean, she's saying it's understandable, but she has made a TikTok to make Demi look like a villain here, which is interesting. Okay, we have more messages here from Shay saying, I'm 19 and lost and confused about being an adult and I don't know what I'm doing about anything right now. Now, and I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry about everything. Demi replied saying, thanks for the reply. I'm just sad this is the state you left it in. And Shay said, I'm very upset and disappointed in myself as well. And I guess Demi sent like the video of the state of the property. I mean, just look at the fucking steps. I actually don't know how that's possible. I don't know how you do that. That almost looks like on purpose, doesn't it? So after I got home, I thought about posting the video and the content of the house being destroyed, but I decided it wasn't worth it from a human perspective for me to get views and show this damage when clearly this is a person that has a lot going on in their life. I felt if I posted it that people would attack her and in some ways I still wanted to try to protect her. I mean again Demi has been so reasonable throughout all of this and this is stuff that happened months and months ago and she didn't post anything about it until obviously she posted that video. I mean I'm not really sure what the thought process was because surely she knew that Demi would kind of show the reason behind all of this. It doesn't make her look good at all. But yeah, just a wild story. I think the conclusion of all of this is that Demi has been ridiculously nice and understanding throughout all of this. And it's a shame that for even just a small period of time, she was seen as a villain. And also she seemingly clearly has like a lot going on. That's, I, that, that's what I'm gathering from this. Like I mean, most places that are like completely tipped upside down and as messy as this is because someone is struggling with stuff. So you've got to bear that in mind. It's just a shame that she posted a video, like, trying to make Debbie look bad after all of that, you know? That just wasn't the move. But I figured I owed you guys every receipt, every screenshot, all the things that have happened in the last year and a half with this house. Um, yeah, just so you can understand. Okay, and that is the end of the video. And as you can imagine, the comments on this video are very positive towards Demi after she was kind of seen as a villain for a short period of time. And we've got comments like this saying, what an amazing opportunity. Haven't seen Shay's video, but hope she gets the help she needs. How devastating. It would be a dream come true for many, including myself. Your compassion is admirable. Then we've got other comments here with like 54,000 likes saying she did that in a month. That's crazy. Oh my God. I would have took amazing care of the house if it was gifted to me. I'm so sorry she did that to you. Oh my God. And again, more comments saying, it's sad that you were being villainized after being so kind to someone. Hope you're well. And then we've even got people leaving suggestions for Demi when she does this in the future because she does this kind of like an ongoing series where people have said, I think the right move is to not give it to someone as owners. It's often 90% rent off. They'd still pay, but not as much. This would encourage accountability and responsibility, yet give an opportunity. And yeah, I mean, that does seem like a really good idea to me because Demi is still the owner of the house. And if something like this happens again, she's covered. And yeah, if she just offered like a really, really low amount for rent, that would maybe make people kind of take care of it. Um, you know, when people do get given things for free, not everyone, obviously, but some people, when they get given things for free, just don't take care of them because they didn't pay for them. That is just a thing that happens. And yeah, at the end of the day, like I've said multiple times throughout this video, I don't even blame Shay for like the state she left the house in, in the sense of like, clearly she is going through something and stuff like this happens. Like I said before, it is just a shame that it then resulted in a video from her making Demi look like a villain and misleading everybody. It's 
It, it, it is just a big shame overall. And yeah, I'm going to leave the video there because that's the situation up until now. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new. And until next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.